Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about the global missions offering and how your giving to missions impacts church planners in Arkansas, the United States, and around the world. And this morning, we are privileged to be joined by one of our own that we sent out last year, Ryan Simmons, uh, who is joining us uh, from Thailand. I say this morning, but for you, it's evening. Is that right, Ryan? It is. It's about 10 o'clock at night here, so wrapping things so, up for the day. So we're trying, as we are here this morning, Ryan is just wanting to go to bed. So we're, as we interview him, um, he's going to share with us a little bit about what's going on. So Ryan, tell us, um, you got in Thailand around September. What's it been like these last few months um, just being in country? Yeah, um, honestly, it has been that like pinch me, I'm dreaming kind of feeling. Um, like I can't believe that I'm finally here after months of preparing and fundraising and waiting um, and sensing the call to go and just getting ready to go. So it's honestly just been a dream. Um, day to day, uh, my main responsibility right now is language school. So learning how to converse with Thai people, um, how to have gospel conversations, but really just how to order a drink at a coffee shop, how to order food, how to pay your electric bill, um, how to function as a non-Thai person in a Thai speaking yeah. country. So that's been our, our main responsibility. And it's honestly been a blast too. Absolutely loving it. Okay. So you're in language school, you're kind of figuring out some things. What is that, how does that lead into connecting with people on the ground or even people that are on your team that aren't um, from the States? Yeah, so we have lessons for two hours a day inside the classroom where uh, me and teammates get to speak with our teacher one-on-one -on -one and practice Thai. Uh, the rest of the day, we're supposed to be out in the community uh, practicing the language that we're learning. So that means ordering coffee, going to the market to buy vegetables, um, talking to people on the street. So there's lots and lots of opportunities to talk with people and to connect with people because you're constantly trying to practice your language. Um, there's also lots of opportunities for the Lord to humble you because you are talking at less than a kindergarten level. Um, and these people are looking at you like, what is wrong with this person? Why can't he communicate? Why can't they speak? Um, so yeah, lots and lots of opportunities and Thai people, have been so friendly and so gracious because they want to converse with you. Um, so they're very gracious to try to interpret and mm -hmm. translate what you're trying to say, even though you don't say it right. Um, yeah. And they'll try to translate it and have those conversations with you. So that's been a really great way to connect with local people. Um, our team of people and students that are going through language school is really diverse, which I've really, really loved. We have a family from the Netherlands, a family from Germany, um, a teammate from Peru, and then a teammate who just got here from South Korea. Um, so each of them bring a different spin and a different um, component to the environment here at Language School and also a different culture and language to get to learn. So you're not only learning how to communicate with Thai people, you're learning how to communicate and function with the German person that's on your team. How do you give advice and criticism and work with them um, when it's different than what it would look like with an American coworker? So it's been a lot of fun. Man, that's, that's pretty awesome uh, to see how that's all been brought together, different people from all over the world um, in this place in Thailand. If you could, right, tell us kind of where you are right now, and I know in a, in, at some point you will, you will move on to a different location. So kind of tell us what those next um, few months or year looks like for you. Yeah, absolutely. So right now I am in Lopri, which is about two hours and 30 minutes north of Bangkok. And the plan is to be here for about the next eight months, really just to focus on language school. Um, they break it up into different levels of language. And as a church planning team, with that being our long-term goal, we'll need level one language, which is total fluency. So the plan is to be here for eight months and to learn as much language as possible. Um, after that, my team will head down to Ayutthaya, which is about 45 minutes north of Bangkok, and a city that is about 0.1% Christian, where there's no current missionaries um, or teams actively engaging with people to share the gospel. So it's totally unreached and unengaged. Um, the hope is to really work with some local Thai people that we've connected with there um, that want to plant a church. And I've already begun to start that, but the church has about four to five people that attend it weekly. So it's very, very small kind of in that startup. So that's our long-term goal. But the in-between right now looks like language school um, and getting to build relationships through language. Um, yeah, and really, really focusing on language learning as our ministry. I think it's really easy to fall into this mindset that ministry will happen in the next eight months when we're actually in the city where we're going to be long term. But the Lord has just opened so many doors in the here and now when we are looking for his spirit and looking for his voice um, and just providing connections with people. I got to sit and talk with a the, the owner of a coffee shop 
um, this guy who I've frequented this shop quite frequently. Mm -hmm. And he's asked questions like, why are you here? What are you doing? What's your role? And as my level of ties increased, the deeper our conversations have been able to go. So he knows that I'm here to share the gospel and to get to connect with him um, in that way. So that's been really, really encouraging to see how the Lord's using the language learning process. Yeah. Well, well, Ryan, as we kind of um, talk and, and wrap up a little bit, we see the Christmas tree behind you. Uh, you're getting to celebrate the holidays in a different way this year. Uh, but also, as you're away from family uh, this holiday season, what are some things we can be praying for you for, not just uh, during this time, but also like heading into the, uh, the new year? Yeah, I think just pray for uh, obedience. It would be the first thing. So listening to the Holy Spirit and where He calls, it's really easy to want to kind of duck and hide when we see Thai people in the street or when the Holy Spirit's like, hey, talk to this person or you feel that prompting because it's most likely going to be really frustrating and embarrassing because you can't communicate and you can't talk. So pray for obedience to follow that calling. I would say pray for boldness too, that we can have those conversations um, to get to go out and talk with people. I would say also pray for just a little bit of homesickness. I'm loving culture here. I love the Thai people, the teammates, um, the friends of the Lord has been it's been a real blessing, but the friends that you make here don't replace the friends and family that you have back home. So mm -hmm. there's still that desire to be with them, especially during the holidays, being in a country where like we get to celebrate Christmas, but the local Thai people have no idea what that really looks like. If you ask them like what the true meaning of Christmas is or even who Jesus is, they have no idea. Christmas is just a reason to put up a tree and light. So there's this, this longing for the familiar traditions and um, comforts that come with Christmas and get what we get to celebrate. So homesickness has been a little bit more this time. So yeah, if you could pray for that, that'd be awesome. Definitely. Well, Ryan, we are so uh, glad that you joined us today and took some time uh, before you kind of laid your head down for the night. Uh, just think about this. A year ago, you were leading worship in the venue, um, and now you are sitting across the world uh, in Thailand. And Ryan, it was so, it's so great for us to see you as one of our own sent out on mission. And, and we want to thank our church family. Your giving to missions is the reason that Ryan is overseas right now. And our global missions offering supports people like Ryan and hundreds of others um, across the globe, in, again, in Arkansas and in the U.S. So thank you so much, Ryan, and get some sleep. And we will talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Miss you guys.